let's uh, talk about the session settings if you go to um, salesforce setup and you can type uh, session settings here and then you go to session setting on the security uh, menu on the sub menu platform encryption if you click the session settings you can configure the session settings set the session security and session expiration timeout for your organization um, you can set the two hours or up to uh, 24 hours for a session validity of a Salesforce user. Uh, the first option is disable session timeout warning pop up. So you can uh, check it if you want it. The, the second option is check for me. So force logout on session timeout. So it forces. Um, on session timeout so it's under session setting lock session to the IP address from which they are originated so I I, uh, I don't have it is unchecked so as it says it is locked the session to the IP address you cannot use multiple IP address for the session the next option is lock session to the domain in which they first use so the same domain is checked force relogging after login as user so it is relogin forcing a login as user. The next one is a require HTTP only attribute. Um, is unchecked. The next one is use post request for cross domain session. Is it's unchecked for me? You can check it if you want. Enforce login IP ranges on every request. It's not. It's unchecked. It has some. Uh, after that, you get some information in the session setting. Extended use of internet. Explorer 11 with Lightning experience. Uh, it says uh, IE 11 with Lightning experience has ended. I'm using Chrome. You better use Chrome. Chrome is the, the best optimized for Salesforce among the other browsers. So in the, under session settings, you can uh, configure caching. The next first option, enable caching and autocomplete on login checked for me enable CQ and persistent browser caching to improve performance is checked third one is enable user switching checked remember me until logout it's unchecked but you can check it um, so i'm on defaults uh, for session setting this is a um they work there was handbox Enable content delivery network CDN for lighting component. Content delivery network is is cache area or network uh, caching in regionally. So it's about um, you get the identity verification. So it, you have to go to identity verification for that. So let's move on. Lightning login allow lightning logon. Kajak production enable. Uh, click jack production and about click job production for setup page is a hacking is a click jack is a fake clicking and then it um, uh, you go to a, a bad side where you uh, lose your information and then then take control of your page um, let's move on you have trusted domain for inline frames uh, you can add the trusted domain here under session settings after that you have cross-site request forgery protections related to cyber security so enable get and post here it is checked in uh, by default um, cross-site request forgery or csrf means uh, giving you a bad link so that it navigates to a, a bad page and where you are vulnerable and then for for, for hackers it's a cyber security feature the next one is content security policy protection the first option override restriction access in the email template salesforce classic for internet explorer it is a 
it is self-explanatory the unchecked the other one is checked the one underneath that enables stricter content delivery policy um user secure enhanced api work. right now is 58 is a sandbox lightning web security is enabled access production cross-site structure cross um, script production XSS production is enabled content sniffing production enabled Refer a URL production is enabled. HTTP referral policy, I have origin in, when cross origin, then you get external redirection with user permission. Uh, you can, when click the user external URL, you can set it with user's permission is always. Uh, so sometime never. Uh, so there are three options this is the default with user permission visual force cross origin security headers uh, then next uh, option is session security levels i have multi-factor authorization you can um at different security level here logout page url setting right now it's blank uh, New user email link expired seven days. Yeah. New user email. So yeah, yeah. So those are the um, session settings um, for Salesforce. So you can use, you can configure wisely for your organizations. These session settings are valid across your organization. Good luck.